the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 261, Daniel 32-4, Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's faith. What Daniel and his friends showed in the midst of the extremely critical situation was their true faith in God by committing everything to him. First point, Nebuchadnezzar, who praised God, changed his mind and erected a golden idol through his arrogance. Nebuchadnezzar erected a golden idol and made everyone bow down to it. He firstly commissioned the making. This was the same man who praised God after hearing Daniel's interpretation of his dream. But no longer afterwards, he changed his mind and became arrogant. He erected an idol in gold in the shape of what he saw in his dream. He secondly carried out propaganda with this newly made idol. He gathered all of his officials and carried out his propaganda through this golden idol. He also made a special law which ordered everyone to worship it. He suddenly endeavored to spread to the world how brutal and powerful Babylon was through this idol and through this law. At this time, Daniel's three friends were arrested as they rejected this law. Because of this, Nebuchadnezzar gave them another opportunity to bow down to it, but they did not obey. They proclaimed that God would save them in any circumstance, and even if God did not save them, they would still not bow down to any idol. Like this, Daniel's three friends declared their faith in God. Second point, Daniel and his three friends did not follow in the ways of their ancestors in idol worship, but later decided to follow and praise God. Nebuchadnezzar became furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and he commanded for them to be put into the burning furnace. This was anger against them for not accepting his absolute power. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times stronger than usual and for them to be thrown in it. The fire was so strong that it also killed the soldiers who were carrying out this task. But of course, God's power was so much stronger than that of Nebuchadnezzar. God granted them a miracle in the burning furnace. And so Nebuchadnezzar was unable to conceal his surprise. To Nebuchadnezzar's shock, there were four, not three men in the furnace, and they were freely walking around in the fire. Seeing this, Nebuchadnezzar could not help but praise God. Nebuchadnezzar called them God's servants, and furthermore commanded that if anyone spoke badly of God, they would be punished. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were then given higher ranking positions there onwards. Third point, Daniel chapter 4 records the contents of Nebuchadnezzar's decree. Nebuchadnezzar spread around his decree throughout all of Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar had experienced through Daniel and his three friends three miracles. The first was Daniel telling him his dream and then interpreting what it meant. The second was the miracle of the burning furnace. The third was Daniel interpreting his second dream. The time Nebuchadnezzar had his second dream was around the time Babylon was at peace. It was here that God warned him that this peace would not be for long. Nebuchadnezzar asked Daniel to interpret this dream. The contents of Nebuchadnezzar's second dream and Daniel's interpretation were the following. The first was that the central tree was growing at a great speed, and that its fruits were so abundant 
that all people could eat from it. This symbolized how Babylon was to rule the world and how influential it had become. Then a messenger from heaven came down to cut the tree, but to leave the stump. This symbolized how Nebuchadnezzar would suddenly lose his power and how Nebuchadnezzar would live among wild animals and eat grass. Lastly, a warning against Nebuchadnezzar was made. Hearing this, Nebuchadnezzar knew that this was God's punishment on him. Fourth point, although Nebuchadnezzar understood in his head Daniel's warnings, he did not take it into his heart. In Nebuchadnezzar's dream, he saw that his power had reached the heavens, but that he would be cut down. However, if we accept that God was the ruler over the world, then he would be able to stand again. Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar to repent of his sins and to be merciful to the poor. This was largely a message to accept that God is the ruler of the world. Daniel warned him that he would be at peace the sooner he realized and accepted this. Unfortunately, even after a year since hearing this warning, Nebuchadnezzar did not listen to Daniel's advice. He missed his opportunity to repent and thus he was to be punished by God. Nebuchadnezzar was punished as soon as God's voice was heard. He was to temporarily live among the wild beasts rather than humans. Fifth point, the last records of Nebuchadnezzar's decree were that he praised God in heaven after his punishment. Nebuchadnezzar was able to know who God was after his punishment and thus he praised God. He finally realized that God ruled over the world. At last, Nebuchadnezzar did not rely on his own power, but on God's power and confessed this. As such, Daniel put his life on the line in order for Nebuchadnezzar to realize and confess this. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 